with the study and preparing, I mean, today the resources we have with Huddle and all that, I mean, it's just amazing. So everyone's going to do it. Everyone's going to watch film. Everyone's going to break down people. Everyone's going to have what we're doing on third down, what they're doing on third down. You have to be better. You have to have the most efficient system because time restraints will ultimately decide how much your kids can devote to studying. So if you send them three hours of cuts that you spent seven hours putting together, you're probably wasting a little bit of time. You get five playlists to show them, here's the top five blitzes. Here's what they do on third down. Here's what they do when we're trying to score or get a yard. I feel like if we know that and then we build their football IQ and I can just say in the meeting, hey, <coughs> power's huge this week. It's our zone influence play. Play action pass is huge this week. They're bringing safeties down and run support. Boots and nakeds are huge this week. That quarterback opens, those hats go that way, and those linebackers fly. And we get that, and now we can get the base stuff covered. And then I give them a personnel scout to do, so how they react to reach, how they react to base, how they react to double teams, influence double team, downhill double team, whatever. I give them a sheet, and all I have to do is put in one or two word answers. Now they get all that base stuff by looking at their opponent. I want them to know what the top pass rush move is. What does he go to first? What does he go to second? I want them to know, is this kid pass rushing on first down? How many DNs look pretty darn good on third down, third and pass? And on first down, there's just nothing to them. If we get guys who can't react to running pass reads, we're going to give them different things to key on. So that's what we're working on there. And the best thing about the studying and preparing is that helps build confidence, man. If they go in feeling good, they know what they're going to see. They're going to be confident players. They're going to play faster. Weaknesses, what needs to get better now? Individual, group, and opponent scout. For individual, it's one thing. I mean, like I said, for most of the guys who can't move properly and aren't fluid, I tell them lose body weight, everything will improve. Your strength to weight ratio improves. You produce force better. You move side to side better. You sink better. If it's a strength issue, get in the weight room. If it's something more specific than that, you probably have a pretty good player. So let's work on our pass set. Let's work on our first step and run. But those two things are usually catch-alls for our guys. Strength and whatever weight they need to do up or down. The other weakness that I'll see with the group is when we talk about group weaknesses, if there's something that everyone's bad at, it's probably my fault. So that's self-evaluation for me. If you have guys who can't get a second step in the ground, you're not drilling the second step properly. It's not you've recruited or you have in your school system every kid in the world who can't take a second step. It's you. Okay, so group is really me, and that's me standing in front of the group rather than always pointing the finger at them. Guys, what are we getting out of our shoot drill? I mean, hey, Coach, I feel out of position. Well, that's a good thing. I'm putting them in a bad position to, to get a second step. So that, that's self-evaluation. And... That comes from your leaders. That comes from your learners. You got me? All right, those, those two guys. The leaners aren't going to like anything you do when you make a move, okay? But those leaders, all right, those learners, you're going to have a young kid, just be honest with you, coach. I have no, I, I've had a kid say that. I have no idea what you're talking about when you tell me to aim small, miss small, and pass. I don't get it, you know? And it's just all about getting your point. I stole that from a movie, too, all right? You know, the, the Patriot movie. Um, you get a point, and that's where you're in. Just fire your hands there. You know, don't, don't, don't do anything else. Get your hands on people. And I've had kids tell me, you know, I cover it once, and then I probably don't. If I have a veteran group and I've got freshmen, I probably go over stuff once. This kid has no idea what I'm talking about. I'm, he's in a film session. I'm saying, aim small, miss small. He doesn't know what I'm saying. He's been here for two weeks. He's not going to say, coach, in front of the whole group. It's on me. Opponents. Whatever we do bad the week before, we need to address. You know, there's so much of a sense of urgency. Let's get the new opponent in. Let's do, there's been times, guys, I've taken tape out of our Sunday. You know, we, we, we beat the last guy by 60. So I've taken tape out. Maybe there's a blitz that beat us. Let's prepare for this opponent right now. And then at the end of the year, I look back, I'm like, man, we can't pick up cross blitzes very well. And I think, what games did we get it in? Then I realized we weren't, co even though you win by 60, we weren't coaching cross blitz deficiencies in week two. And it just piles up. And you're losing those opportunities. So 
That's another one that's really going to be on me. What are our opponents going to look at and try to use against us?